My beige flag is beige flags. I'm, I'm not interested in it at all. That means we got some fucking work to do. We? We? Almost just had a boo-boo because there wasn't an <laughs> SD card in this, but this thing is so freaking smart that if you don't put an SD card in like your recording device, it stays blue and it doesn't turn from green to red, which is what it normally does. And we were like, why is it blue? Well, but I also Joseph, didn't notice what this flag was. Now I'm just noticing that that there's a flag there and now I'm looking at, you know everything. why? Cause we didn't read the, the instruction manual. And when you set this up, you just set it up really fast. First of all, whip. that's that's a shot at me. <laughs> Do you, what I just explained too was there's the soundboard <laughs> stuff. Now there's three cameras. There's the microphone. There's a lot of setup that's like literally all on me here. <laughs> there's nobody else. You come in, you sit down. I look with, and I. You got to move this out of the way. I, well, I have my I have my what we're talking about. I know, but you you don't want to block your view. Fine. I'm tr- I'm, listen, I we're trying check. to get we're trying to get this thing to be professional. I double check and I see if there's a red light on each camera. Ooh, and that's a lot of work. Wow. it's a lot of pressure on. Well, me, because right? what people don't realize either potentially is potentially potentially this setup doesn't necessarily stay this way because I have to use my cameras and shit for other things. And you mean your whole life doesn't circle around this podcast? <sighs> if I had enough cameras to just leave this the way it is but you like would. last night i had to use my camera or something what'd you use i had to do a product video oh but i did upstairs nice. i had to use that so like this doesn't stay the this way all the time so we have to set it up every time rude anywho rude. any hoosies oh i thought i broke the camera i didn't um any hoosies so we're talking about Red flags, and then you know green flags, right? Like, you know, a red flag and a green flag? Yes. There's beige flags now. This sounds like this sounds like female TikTok shit, because I've never heard of this until who wrote down this? Who made this list? I mean, who, who gave us this layup? So it's funny, because Today.com <clears throat> did a whole article saying, what are beige flags? Oh my God. What to know about TikTok's relationship trend? Oh, my God. This is... Is it banned yet? I'm so no, over it. Not. Can it be banned? <laughs> no, dude, you don't even do TikTok. I do a little bit. I've been I've been motivated again, so I've been posting every day for the past four days. <laughs> wow, what a streak, everybody! If I had a clap, I would do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Way to go, Biatch. Um, okay, so weirder than green flags, less concerning than red flags. Are beige flags something to worry about or celebrate? Um. <laughs> This is so stupid already. I'm sorry. Dumb. Um, so quirky, amusing, and bordering on weird without crossing into full-fledged creepy territory. Beige flags are the relationship trend that has taken over TikTok. It's not a warning sign that something's wrong per se, but a beige flag is something that simply makes you go, what is that person doing? So it's not necessarily like a bad thing about them, but it's not something that you're like, oh my gosh, this is like a pass, like this is a win. So I. So it's basically video. like a non-point. It's not green. It's not red. It's a non-point. It's a, it's a little like embarrassing sometimes. So like I had okay. seen this video trend, and it was like my husband's beige flag is that he never stops dancing at a wedding on the dance floor, and he does this move, and he was like this. And Honestly, then, it could and, be it could be a green flag. Really, <laughs> he sounds like a lot of fun. I she sounds like the problem. <laughs> Really? I think it depends on who you talk to. So, like, to a girl, she's just like, it's maybe a little, like, cringe. Like, I think that's the better word. It's like, you're like, what are they doing? Uh, this is a little strange. He's you know a little strange? cringy. You know, what's, you know what's strange and cringy? What? Making beige flag lists on TikTok. That's creepy. It's weird. I'm about to make one for you. I want to find... Actually, let's do that. We're going to find out what oh your beige God. flags are. So it says, according to online dating coach Max Alley, a beige flag is a beha- a beige flag is a behavior that your boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, or anyone else exhibits that's, well, kind of strange without quite crossing into full on freaky territory. It's a super niche idiosyncrasy. There you go. That is kind of funny, weird, and unique, but not necessarily bad and not necessarily good. 
So it's a non-point. <laughs> it, this, this is, we have to label everything nowadays. So it's just, this is a non-point. I don't, what do you mean by non-point? Because you, there's, they're basically saying it's not good, it's not bad, it's not red, it's not green. It's just, it's just it's there. It's just kind of there. It's a non-point. I don't know if that means that like it's not a point. All right, period. then give me give me an example. Throw I, throw Nick under the bus when I you did. first started when you first started dating Nick. Did he have a beige flag? Sorry, Nick. I just I need to know the correlation here. Um. Okay. So I have to think about it because beige flags weren't really a thing when I first started. Like I never thought of it as like a beige flag. Like there's things that I know about him, but I wasn't like there was no term for it. Like it wasn't a green flag and it wasn't a red flag. It was yeah. just kind of, something I still argue about that him. there's no real term for this, but okay. It's beige. Um, so I think maybe Nikki's beige flag is like <clears throat> his obsession <clears throat> with maybe call of duty or like yelling at kids or people he plays with on <laughs> call of duty. Yelling the, at kids. <laughs> And the reason why I say that that's not a red flag is because as someone who used to game, I can respect the fact that I don't mind if someone plays Xbox. Like, I don't care about okay. that. Other girls would be like, that's a red flag. I don't like when yeah, he yeah, plays. Yeah. I don't mind it because I used to game and I like gaming myself. Like, if he's not on, I'm over there playing some, like, old PlayStation game that I used to play. Sure. So that's not a red flag. <clears throat> to me, that's his beige flag. Like, but that's like, something that I just... <clears throat> It's there. It's not a red flag to me. It's not a green flag. Definitely not a green flag. But, it, it, but it's just kind of, that was, was my phone. Oh, then I, I think we're just explaining like you have no feeling towards that whatsoever. And this is a non point. So this is just picking up shit on shit that you just don't care about one way or another. It's, is that what it is? Because then I can. I feel like it's things that other people might be like, ooh weird or like ooh, i don't like that but to you you're like it's beige like it's not a big deal well that I, but, but like to everyone but else could be, they might but the point is like that could be anything though right i, I mean I well, so like what would you say like your beige flag is for me? for me yes like something i do that's weird yes something i do that's weird yes like I, give, I mean, you, you would be able to tell me what I do that's weird because I don't, I, for me, it's normal. I don't know. I'm going to give you another example. So okay. someone said, my boyfriend's beige flag is that he sets timers instead of alarms. It's midnight and he needs to wake up at six. He'll set a six hour timer. <laughs> so like okay, weird. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So it's, 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 it's weird, but it's not a red okay, flag. It's, it's diff, like different it's for different. you. Okay. All right. Um, but see, in your example that. That's not really different for you because you gamed, you said. So I don't know right. if that was a great example. So maybe I'll try to think of something else. Okay. But they're, they're, they aren't they are clear cut make it or break it relationship warnings. It's just things that you would be like, that's a little off. Okay. Um, so another girl wrote about what her, um, her fiance's uh, beige flags. And it is, let me see. Uh, that he, Ooh, sorry. It's not loading right now. Okay. So this girl, she writes this whole thing of a playlist of what her fiance's beige flags are having coriander, coriander, pineapple on your pizza, uh, sticking chocolate sauce in the fridge instead of the cupboard. Why is that weird? Time out. Um, Cause I have chocolate sauce in my fridge right now. Why I do it? too. So I don't know that. That's weird. Um, let's see. Uh, using puppies as your personality beige flag, I guess. So like the men who are like, this is my dog. And they like put it on their like Tinder profile and in order to like try to get the girls kind of thing. Mm. Cause you know how like girls are like, Ooh, not necessarily a red flag, but like your whole life is no, your dog. That's a, red, that's a red flag. You think so? <laughs> Absolutely. Like, but it's possible for, for them to really love their dog. Like that's okay. Yeah. But it's a but pet. When you make like, it, I wouldn't, like, yeah. I wouldn't make that your whole life. It's a pet. It's not a kid. It's not even you. Same. No, it's not. Same thing. It's, that's so cute. And then when, when you have a kid, you're going to look back in this and laugh and be like, oh, yeah, I thought the fucking cat but was I'm, like my kid. He's like my baby. It's, not, it's, I it's nowhere near him. the same. It can't be. Stupid. I know, um, I know. I agree. Shut up. Any mention of spreadsheets? So I guess like if guys talk about spreadsheets, um, another person, my husband's beige flag is that he doesn't ask for details. His brother had a baby. What's the baby's name? I don't know. I didn't ask. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. I didn't ask. <laughs> That's great. That's another beige flag. That's great. I, I can actually concur because I feel like 
Nick is kind of like that too in the way that like one of his friends broke up with his girlfriend and I'm like, what happened? And he's like, I don't know. I didn't ask. And I was like, spill the details. Like what did, did they have a fight? Like when did it happen? I'm not really sure. That's a girl thing though. Guys, we ain't ever going to ask unless you got to tell us. I like, I think that's like wrong. It's not wrong. It's, it's, it's like, just because you don't want to know. It's not that we don't want to know. Hey, it's, 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 we know not to pry with our friends. Because like Will, that's prying. Kind of is. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't go out of my way to ask details because eventually, if they want to tell me, they'll tell me. Because then it looks like you're trying to like gossip. Like, ooh, what's the, what's the scuttlebutt? I feel like you could also just be like, if you were like, hey, this and this happened, I'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry. What happened? Like, it's not prying. Like, I'm not like tell me what but happened. It, I'm Spill the that's, deets. But that's like, a girl thing. Guys don't care about that. Rude. My girlfriend's beige flag. <laughs> that's, that's rude. My girlfriend's beige flag is that she physically cannot survive without having something sweet after a meal. She doesn't even do it on purpose. Her body just starts searching high and low for chocolate immediately after dinner. That's me. She tries to play it off like she's look uh, when she's looking because she's embarrassed by it, but it's so cute. She's like a little fruit fly. <laughs> oh my god! I this is like I feel like. I love this so much, though. Like, it's like the stupid. But that's like almost thing. like a green flag because you think it's cute. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. This if it's, is like. Like, that's not like a green flag. I can't flag. even think of like. <laughs> I honestly something can't even you think. Do. Me personally, but like in general, I can't think of something that would. Oh, that's a beige flag. It's hard for me to think of what a beige flag would be for you because. I don't date you. Like, I don't know what but you're even like as in a, a relationship. But as like a friend, is there any, because I genuinely don't know because the shit I do to me is normal. There's stuff where I, I, I don't know. I have to think of what I do that's weird that I think is weird. I guess like maybe one of your beige flags would be the fact that like. <laughs> I feel like you had this in the pocket the whole fucking time. <laughs> no, it just came to mind. I feel like one of your beige flags is the fact that like you'll always offer food from your house even though you have no food from your like you have no I, <laughs> who do i offer food to? to me like i'll be like i'm hungry hungry and you're like do you want this chocolate peanut butter cup i'm like no i'm okay thanks so. i'm like i'm so hungry joe do you have anything um yeah like a protein i bar. have this protein granola bar do you want this i'm joe i'm starving what do you have george's hot sauce and uh, these like healthy M and M's, like chocolate candies, and I'm like, cool. But it's but it's a thing that you I'm offering. You, so like, you don't have like a piece of fruit or anything. Got it. Okay, cool. I think that's your beige flag to me. Like, you're I don't so, have fruit you're, like, in the house. You're like so nice about it, and you're like, yeah. I have a pineapple upstairs. You want it? <laughs> I know. I noticed. <laughs> that's not usually like you. I'm like, that looks really good. Um, I think that's what your beige, fl one of your beige flags for me is the fact that like you're, a green flag would be like, the green flag part is the mm. fact that you're offering food. Yeah. The ba what makes it's, it beige, it's not what you want. it gets demoted is the fact that you don't have anything in the house to offer. Okay. That's, I guess that's fair. I mean, I'm not going to offer you anything good that I have. I'll give you scraps. You don't have anything. What are you talking about? I have a pineapple right now on the table upstairs. And you only started having things in the house. Within the past year, for obvious reasons. <laughs> I, I, I agree to disagree. I'm going to, I, I kind of <laughs> want to read more people's like beige flags. Um, okay. My husband's beige flag um, is he's so nonchalant and unbothered about everything. He never cares to ask for details. His brother's divorcing his wife. Why? He never asked. His best friend got a new job. Where? No, no clue. I feel like that's like a, a lot of it is the fact that. Guys just, like, don't pry, as you say. Yeah, we just don't care. We're, um, not, we're not gossip hounds. My my boyfriend's beige flag is when I'm overthinking, he physically removes my brain. So he, Wait, say this again? Because my brain just left my body <laughs> with all this beige talk. I feel like I'm a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the beige cardigan. My my boyfriend's beige flag is when I'm overthinking. He physically removes my brain, and the video has the boyfriend going like this and going, Pew! and like he pretends to do that when she's like overthinking, and that's that's a beige flag. God, I think yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my brain is eroding right now. 
My mom's beige flag is that she raw dogs every flight, no matter. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. We started off with my mom's <laughs> beige flag. She raw dogs. That's the way that whole thing just started. You didn't let me finish. But I'm just saying the way it started wasn't great because you, you had to struggle to get a beige flag for me as a friend. And this one's talking about her mom raw dogging. Just go ahead from there. My mom's beige flag is that she raw dogs every flight, no matter how long. This is her on a nine-hour flight. No iPad, no headphones, no book. At least she's comfy. Go, girl. So she's just, like, sitting on the flight. Like, no no headphones. Like, nine-hour flight. Mm. Just, like, sitting there. Okay. So it's, like, not a red flag. Like, you wouldn't end a relationship with your, like, girlfriend if she did that. But it's just, like... You don't know me. <laughs> it's just weird. She dresses up like a fucking cartoon character to go to a movie. I'll fucking end it. <laughs> Not funny. It's but it's accurate though. Rude. It's you're right. It's not funny. My boyfriend's beige flag is that every time we fly, he has two to three rum and cokes and proceeds to shamelessly flirt with me as if we're strangers. Where are you headed, sexy? You got a man? Oh, he's in coach. If I were your man, I'd never leave you up here alone. We sat across from each other um, on this flight, and he shot his shot. He shot his shot via text. This is why I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> this is so stupid. Is this what people call content nowadays? I love this though. Like I it's think like it's so stupid. I read it and I I like giggle because it's like funny things that people do that makes humans so interesting. Like it's I, so I cool. Guess. I just I feel like this is lame attempts at like going viral. I think this is no. Stupid. I don't think that's necessary. Like I think it's just like funny quirks about people. Like this is what makes humans interesting. My fiance. But see, that's the thing is like I I understand it and I get it. But when you're saying like funny things like something that you would think is like endearing or cute like then it's not really like it's not <coughs> it's like maybe weird but not like if you're saying it's like like you don't get a little chuckle out of some of these like it I, just makes I get a chuckle out of certain things that like mel does i'm thinking of but i don't think it's a beige flag i just think it's funny like i think it's can you give an example without like outing her <laughs> i'm trying to explain uh let me think <laughs> okay, this is a stupid one. Okay. But this isn't like a bait. This isn't green, red bait. This is just funny. Like, I just think it's like funny. Okay. It's not weird. Uh. When it's time to go to bed. <laughs> okay. She will run, sort of run, because she's already sleeping on the couch. So she'll okay. do like this run. From the couch to the bedroom? Yeah. And then she just, <laughs> she's freezing the whole time. And then when she gets in bed, she just keeps saying cold, 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 cold. <laughs> See, but it's that's like, not like a. I, I just think it's funny because I'll laugh at it. But I, it's not like I don't know if that's beige or not. That's beige. That's beige. Because like I do something like that. It must be a female thing. So twins male. But like, <laughs> I'll like get into bed, and if I'm like cold, if I'm not comfy, I'll just like lay there, and I'll just be stiff as a board, and I'll be like not comfy. And Nick is like, what's not comfy? I'm like, not comfy, not comfy, not comfy. And then he'll like try to do things to like figure out like, do I need an extra blanket? Like, oh, he goes, he, oh, he like tries. I just laugh at her. <laughs> oh, mean. I just laugh at her because she's like, well, she's, she's fully clothed and then she has blankets on and she just keeps rocking herself because she's freezing. Because <laughs> you keep your house at like 62. <laughs> oh my God. That'd be too hot. 55. The heat's been off really. My house is on 72 right now. Too hot. Yeah, because I break out, dude. I, I I I get uncomfortable. Maybe if you just like got your body used to it, you wouldn't break out. No, it's the dry heat. I, I just can't do it. I get uncomfortable. Put a humidifier. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm fine. I'm comfortable. But it's not about you. You have blankets. There's blankets. I got her a blanket. You I got, got her a heated blanket. I heat a blanket. I know you did. She loves that thing. See, that's a green flag. That's not a beige flag. That's a green flag right there. What? That was a green flag. What? Getting her a heated blanket. Green flag, not a beige flag. Beige flag would be like a green flag got demoted, but not as far as it being like a bad quality about you. Green flag got demoted. Yeah, that's how that's how I'm going to describe it. A beige okay. flag. A beige flag is when a green flag gets demoted. Doesn't get demoted all the way down to a red flag, but it gets demoted one little notch. Okay. God, I, I just, yeah, this is... My fiance's beige flag is that he doesn't like to eat dinner in silence. He will Google couples questions or relationship quiz and ask me the most random yet intimate questions in a room full of people as if we're in our own world. Adorable. This is 
Got nothing here. I got nothing. This is empty for me. <laughs> I'm empty. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I had a higher hopes for what a beige flag was, but I don't know why because it's literally beige. It's beige. It's just like there. A it's like a non, I just I'm going back to it. it's it's a non point. This is like <laughs> this is like just categorizing things just to do it. My husband's beige flag is that he doesn't care about the beach. Water, tanning, relaxing? Nope. Iguanas? Yes. This man wrangles all the iguanas to watch him eat pizza. He did this for 30 minutes straight. That's kind of like another beige flag. I think this is my beige flag. It's like no matter where we go and like we're eating outside, if I see one bird, a single bird, I'm throwing food for the birds. And Nick's like, stop doing That's that. a red flag. No, that's a beige flag. No, no. Like I'd rather, I'd rather like spend time with the birdies and like feed the birdies. Oh and my God. Then, then to have dinner with your fiance. It's not dinner. I'm just saying like we're out to eat. Like we're at the beach ah. and we're having whatever. Like yeah, that's... I just try to think when we were in Vegas, we were in Vegas. We went to Luke's lobster and we got lobster rolls and we sat outside on this little like patio part and it was just the two of us. And this one bird came over and he looked so hungry. So I threw him some piece of my lobster. This is why they don't go away and they desecrate the land because people like you keep throwing them fucking food and they're shitting everywhere. My boyfriend's beige flag is that every time I stop scratching his back, he will look at me, stare at me until I start again. This is, I don't know, dude. I just think, I think this whole fucking topic is so stupid. No, my beige flag is that I fake propose whenever we get a random person to take our picture. That's kind of funny. <laughs> That's kind I'd of funny. I'd be so embarrassed. That's kind of funny. Um... Let me see. Because <laughs> everybody taking the picture thinks they caught the moment. <laughs> um, my boyfriend's beige flag is that he will not have a drink with me unless we're proper drinking because he thinks it's pointless. Glass of red wine with pasta? No. Cold beer after a long day? What's the point? But a three-day bender? Let's freaking go. Okay. Do you agree? I no. <laughs> so no. There's more and more beige flags. I Man. I feel like I like this trend because it's like I said, it brings out the quirks in people and it brings out like the little funny tidbits about people. And That's exactly what I hate. No, like, come on! You have to find it in like. I, humans, I don't find I don't. Humans are so interesting. Like, it's, they are. They're great. Right. So it's like it. You'll never get to meet everyone in the world. <clears throat> so it's funny when you can learn a little like fun fact or fun tidbit about. But none of these are like, none of these are like earth shattering or interesting. But that's to not me. the point. They're just things that know, are like th funny quirks that people do. Funny quirks in people is not an of an interest to me. That's my whole point. They're just not. The, my beige flag is beige flags. I'm I'm not interested in it at all. Your beige flag is beige flags. I don't know if that totally means that. My red flag is beige flags. <laughs> That's what I meant. Your red flag is that you don't understand or you can't. I I understand it. I don't have an interest in it. I, I had higher. Your red hopes. flag is the fact that you're not interested in beige flags or people's quirks. That's a right. red flag. That's a red flag for you. That's a red flag. Period. That I'm not interested in people's quirks? That you're, like, not interested That's, in people. or like Oh, you I'm 100% interested in people. Not, I'm not interested in their quirks and posting it online. You're that, not... That's, that's, that's different. You're not... Not appreciative. That's not the word. But you're not, like... You don't pay attention to the small things. Or, like, you don't Oh, uh, no, find, I, I do. But, like... You don't find value in, like, the small things about humans. This is coming from somebody who would rather talk to a fucking bird than have dinner with her fiance. <laughs> you literally just said that. False. Those you just said that. You just said that. I didn't. So say I that. don't appreciate these things in people. At least I'm not one of those people who's like, oh, I'd rather I'd rather be with animals than people. We I just, just like animals more Ian. than people. We just talked about that with the end. Yeah. I'm not like that. Mm. I'm not like that. Yeah. A little bit. Not really. A little bit. I think I I find certain quirks in my my circle maybe funny. What's like, like a beige flag about cheese? <sighs> a beige flag about cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fuck. Um. <laughs> I, the problem is like there, there's some there that I I I can't I can't necessarily. I don't want to throw him under the bus. 
I gotta think. A of beige stuff. flag day isn't supposed to be something bad though. So it's, like no, but it's not bad. Oh okay. But it's just like it's <laughs> there's just like this like ridiculous so outlandish. Yeah, there's outlandish things about like like why his name is cheese. Is that a beige flag? Would you consider that a beige flag? <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Is that a beige flag though? For who though? <sighs> For cheese. Like I'm like, saying, is like cheese's beige flag. The fact that he got his <laughs> name through X Y Z. Because <laughs> it's such a funny story that I don't know. I feel like that's a beige flag. Like it's not a bad. Thing. I guess it's, it's like, ab- like it's kind of like it's weird. abnormal. Like it's a little strange. Like I guess he yeah. was so young. Like <laughs> it just it's the way he funny. starts the story too. That's like my favorite part. I actually just texted him the, yesterday. Did need, you tell me said hi? I need an oil change. Tell me said hi. I will. <laughs> I don't know. I think they they all probably have some some quirks about them. Could you think of a beige flag about one of your friends? Maybe not cheese in particular. Cheese is like one of the main friends that we like talk about a lot. Yeah, but like Mike, like anybody, Maurice, John. Ooh, give a beige fla- flag about John. A beige flag about John. Yeah, because I feel like as a sibling, like you should be able to like potentially like oh like as a kid. John, oh, I could I could say one, but I can't. There's one I could say, but I won't. Wait, um, it's bad. Like uh, I said, beige flags it's, are it's really not, bad. It's not bad. It's not a great look. <laughs> it's like I think that that's the so problem. So is it beige though? Would you, are <laughs> if, you it sure was, if it was, if I was Alex, it'd be a fucking red flag. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of like something that is is. <laughs> Is quirky and different that isn't uh, like something I can share with people. I don't know. Like that one I can't, but um, do you have a good example that maybe I can uh, bounce off of this one? So <clears throat> I'm just trying to think of like people who watch our podcast. So Heather is one of them. Shout out Heather. Shout out Heather. I feel like we haven't shouted her out. I know. She's about to graduate from school in a month. Hey, uh, that's a beer one. I'm pretty sure. That one is the money. <laughs> Get that money, girl. Get that money, biatch. <laughs> um, so maybe like one of Heather's beige flags. I was trying to think of one for her. And I think one of her beige flags is the fact that like when she sees something and she's like, she like says something wrong, mm. it becomes a new word for her and part of her lingo. <laughs> okay. So like the example that I could give you is... Um, she was, we, we were both in Hawaii and when we were in Hawaii, we were walking through, uh, or like by a building and we saw aqua. And then as we kept walking, the eye was covered and then we saw rum and we're like, what's an aqua rum? And then we were, her fiance was like, it's an aquarium guys. And like, <laughs> Yo, literally- when you said it, I was trying to think of it too. I'm like, wait, what the fuck could it be a brand? So it now has become part of her like lingo. Like she'll just say stuff like aqua rum or like okay, if she okay. sees, if she sees um, a video okay. that she thinks is really, really funny. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. was a video that went viral of the, these two guys who are partners and they have two dogs and they missed a flight. Um, I think it was like American Airlines or JetBlue or something. And someone recorded their reaction because as, the, as these guys, these two like gay men are um, freaking out. They're like, think of the girls, think of the girl, like Shelby and Dolly, Shelby. Like, yeah, remember, yeah, yeah. think of the girls, because like they're freak, freaking out about when they can like catch the next flight to go like get their pets and whatever yeah. else. So like any time that like we just do something, like we'll see each other, like something happens, we'll be like, think of the girls. Okay, and, like, okay. Things like that ha- now become part of her like language. Okay, so bouncing off of that, I think one of my weird things is I. I combine words and make new words. Okay. See, and that's like, a beige and flag. And like Graham does this too. And it becomes a part of like your language. So what we do, this is like a weird thing. I mean, then, then I have some with like Mike where it's like, or my cousin, like movie quotes back and forth. Mm-hmm. Like we'll just talk in movie quotes. But with Graham, the, I'll combine. Now it's like me and Mel do this too now to Aww. some extent. So I'll combine a word, like two okay. words that sort of could fit together. Okay. I'm trying to think of a good example. But then that word will become something that we use to plug into like other things. I'm trying to think, think of, of like, an example. Damn it. Okay, you keep thinking. I got to think of like <clears throat> how 
Because it comes organically. It's basically two words that you can just mash together. I and then it becomes like, then you start using references for that thing. I think that's like the best thing to happen is like when it just happens like organically. Because that's what happens with Heather. Like that's one of my favorite things about her. Yeah, yeah. Is the fact that like her, she does it. And then our other friend Rachel does it. And mm. now it's just like, I do it. Like Nick does it every once in a while. He'll just say like certain words that like Heather will just say. Um... <laughs> And like the think of the girls or um, like she, she, why am I blinking on it right now? But there's like a noise that she makes. Mm. Um, you and Nick do that with the f the kid with the peanut butter. We'll get, oh. <laughs> you guys do that. <laughs> I hear you the guys little do kid. it. He's so funny. He What's like, the noise that he um, does? He, um, eh. Oh yeah. <laughs> eh. <laughs> it's just. Nick and I will just do it. I didn't know we. But like, there's just little things like that that like, they're not. They don't get called upon. There's no reason to say it. Yeah. It's just <laughs> like you think of it. It's funny. You say it out of nowhere. Like, well, like she could say aqua rum, and we'll both geek out laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, yeah. she has another thing that had happened with like a, a pasta dish. Mm -hmm. Um that like she didn't understand how to pronounce it. And so she was like trying to read it and they were like, no, Heather, it's like, it's just this. And yeah, yeah. and like, it turned into like an, an inside joke, but it's something that just like, it's an inside joke that never has to be called upon. Like it's literally just, always, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a part of the conversation. Right. Every time we hang out, it probably gets brought up at least once. Like, That's, it's just funny. Yeah. I, I used to say that too, like with, with me and Mike, like we can be exhausting for, I mean, me and Graham too, but people eventually come around to us, uh -huh. but like me and Mike, we've been known to wreak havoc. It's so funny. Cause like, when I meet Mike, like, I feel like I don't hear like every time I've seen him, I haven't seen that like super giddy side. Like I've seen that in cheese. Like I've seen like yeah, 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 cheese yeah. and you fool around. I've seen you like, I've seen your banter yeah. with like Maurice. Like I've seen that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I know how you are personally, because I literally just told you this the other day. I was like, there's yeah. parts of you where you're just like a little kid and you're just like so giggly and it's so weird. <laughs> That's another one. Um, But I don't think of him, like I don't see him interact with you that, that way. So I'm always like, I would love to see that dynamic of you two just like feeding off of each other and like wreaking havoc on everybody. It's it, We've been known to be somewhat exhausting to people around us. Because it's like it's like movie quotes and it's stupid shit that we've made up over the years <laughs> that just keeps coming back around. I mean, we kind of do that, too, because we both found out that we both have liked slash watch heavyweights. And I feel like Which is in our that's one of our favorite ones to quote me and Mike. So really? that's glad that you're okay. you're in the uh, you're in the circle now. So like <clears throat> for you and I <laughs> recently, like you'll just send me something and you're like, oh yeah, like I'll hit you back, and I'm like, buddy, <laughs> like I'm sending yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the little gift of like the buddy. Because I had no idea <laughs> that you had seen that movie. Because I mean, it came out when you were. I mean, I think we looked it up. I think I was one. Like I think yeah, it came yeah. Out that's in why I was surprised when you and said I was that. Like really, I sent you. A gif of Sam, Sam. being, I'll be, I'll, I'm on my way. I had no, did not think that you would know what it was. And then like the next <laughs> night you made Nick watch it. And then <laughs> we were just quoting it back and forth. Yeah. That's Lunch a, is canceled. Deal with it. <laughs> but you do the voice really well. Lunch is canceled today due to lack of hustle. hustle. Deal, deal with, with it. it. <laughs> How do you like so the food? Good. I love the food. I love Wait, wait <laughs> till I finish <laughs> I love the food. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. It's yeah. such a good movie. I think my beige flag is the fact that I'm obsessed with heavyweights. That's my beige flag. I'm ending it with I, that. That's dude, my beige that flag. That should be the greenest of green flags for anybody if you're into heavyweights. And if you have not watched heavyweights, Please go watch it. it. Yeah. Go watch it. So overall, what are, what are your thoughts on heavyweights? You think it's stupid, I think, right? Me? Yeah. Heavyweights? No, sorry, beige I gonna, flags. Ooh, I was going to say. Sorry, I, beige flags. No. Um, beige flags. Overall, your take on beige Yeah, lines. I'm still not really clear on what this is. <laughs> 35 minutes in. I'm still not 100% I don't know clear. If, I don't know if I can, like, clear it up anymore. I don't know. If, I mean, I'm trying I to think, think I'm of... I think I'm just going to cut my losses. At this. I, yeah, I would, too. I'm trying to think of, like, those... <laughs> 
like something I the just words. brought up, like the word combination or like I when I'm when I'm tired, like when I'm really tired, I get into these laughing fits. I know. And I like I'm aware. I've gotten Mel also brings out I've said this, but like you just like Oh here we go. Nick and I are eating pink berry and go. Mel Mel and him <laughs> are just like laughing over nothing. I'm like, what are they what are they <laughs> laughing about? Like Nick and I are not clued in, but you guys have this own like secret lingo language. I don't even know what we're something. I know like, you said that after the fact. I'm like, I don't have no idea what the fuck we were laughing. If we me were, neither. I didn't remember laughing. Well it happened. But me neither. I don't know what it was about. I don't know. She has a similar sense of humor. So, like, if I find it funny, nine times out of ten, she'll find, she'll it, find funny. it funny. Kind of. Which works because most likely Nick finds it funny. So, the three of you can go laugh along, and I'm over here just being like, no, yeah, you're, yeah, <laughs> no. You're not into it. No. You're into uh, beige flags and fucking pet accounts yes. on Instagram. Yes. That's your thing. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways, <laughs> I love that for me. <laughs> that's, a, that's a beige flag for me. <laughs> See you later. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, also, huh, shout, shout, huh. Out, shout out to the sponsor of... Um, be a Nice Human. Be a Nice Human. Skylar Bats, Studio Skylar 121. Yeah. Is it 120? It's 121. Yep. Oh, my God. It's been yep. a while. And that's it. Oh, wait. Uh, but we have to plug the event, too, because this will be out <gasps> April We're 15th. doing an event on May 11th. <laughs> We're doing an event, Biatch. <laughs> which, it's on May 11th, which happens to be my cousin Gabby's birthday. Shout out Gabby. Shout out Gabby. <laughs> Why are we shaking hands like this? <laughs> Wait, is she going? Gabby. I, I should tell her to come for her birthday. Yeah, Gabby. Oh, that's right. Well, we'll yeah, see. Have her, have her show up. We'll see. Have some um, drinks. So, yeah, it's on May 11th. Um, it's from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Um, the description, and, the, the Eventbrite is in the description of this here video. And I can see who buys tickets. So if you watch our podcast and you don't buy a ticket, it's free. But if you don't reserve a ticket, I'm going to be pissed at you. So reserve a ticket. I know. Resume. Make sure you turn this into a reel. Yeah, we have we have fifty spots. Yes. Open. And we're going to be doing a giveaway potentially. We have food. There's going to be drinks. Uh, there's going to be people playing music. It's just going to be a good time. It's going to be a nice jovial time. And if you went to the one that we did last year, you would know how much fun they are. And the first fifty people get a five dollar Dunkin' gift card. Bam. <laughs> you like that, huh? Good shit. See you next week. See you next week.